New York now. Weekdays at 7, only on MetroGuide. schools out well the holiday season is in full swing and many of us are turning to the internet for our shopping needs will you be among the consumers expected to spend eight billion dollars online this holiday season well here to get us started in online shopping is the editor and publisher of the cyber scene a weekly newsletter for silicon alley and beyond courtney pulitzer hey courtney welcome to schools out hi thanks nice so is you. online shopping safe i know a lot of people are kind of worried about that it is in fact shopping online is almost safer than shopping uh offline you know giving your credit card number to someone over the phone or to a waiter in a restaurant and there's there's other things that will let you know that it's a very safe experience um, for instance if you look at your browser and sometimes you'll see there's a little um, icon of a lock and when you see it with a, a closed lock mm -hmm. and sometimes there's a blue line around it depending on Netscape or Internet Explorer uh -huh. that's when you'll know it's okay. a little um, that's when it's safer um, and you'll you'll see that as you've gone through and started making your transaction I see there's other um, sites that um, and consumer advocacy programs that mm -hmm. also help you know that it's a safe um, experience like the Better Business Bureau is online and if you see a site that has um, a, an icon maybe we've got one here that shows um, like this trust E oh. or um, VeriSign those are sites that will post their policies so you can see what's going on and know exactly what you're getting into before you even make a purchase. Right. Uh, my mom shops online sometimes mm -hmm. and Sometimes she worries that, like, is it the company? Like, when you order something online, and I, I send, like, all the stuff to the company, and after they, you know, the gift is, like, how do you guys get all the, like, the gift ready, and, like, who do you give it to to send to, like, your house? Like, how is the shipping handled? Is that safe? Well, that's, um, yeah, and that's sort of once you've placed an order, it's like when you do it over the phone or a catalog order. Um, you know, those companies have all those processes in place and their distribution channels and things like that. And that's the same as um, if you, you know, went into the Gap and had something shipped anywhere else. Well, now, for, go ahead. Yeah, like, um, we, we recently bought some CDs over, I think, at, like, CDnow.com. Mm -hmm. And the problem is we set it up for um, express next day shipping. Mm -hmm. And it took about three or four days for them to process everything in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what we, at, at home, we find the downside to is all of the shipping charges and the length it takes for them to actually get it out to you. Right. Well, sometimes, um, you know, if there's a product that's been back ordered, mm -hmm. then that will delay the, the product being shipped. Um, there's other things you can do though with these comparison shoppers, mm. w which will help you see, um, you know, yeah, other let's, stores let's online. There's a, um, uh, whoops, well here's your website. Mm -hmm. Now, actually, a good one to check is DealTime.com. This one searches all sorts <coughs> of things. There's another one called um, Deal and, Pilot. And so you just tell them what you're looking for, and it goes right. and finds you the best like price. Right, right. It'll find the best price. Um, and in fact, Deal Time will send you reminders. Um, there's another one that's. Um, do you find that they, they actually do a good job of yeah. finding a cheap price? Yeah, they're they're very good. Deal Pilot searches just books, um, music, and movies, and um, they will come back with all of the other online stores that you've um, that that you could possibly buy this product at, and it will um, rate them on the prices, and then you actually can just go straight to that site and make the transaction. What's the difference between like Deal Pilot and, and BizRate? Where we just well, BizRate, um, that's a site that will actually rate the online stores. So it's a good uh -huh. place to start because you can go through here and, you know, for instance, if you're going to look for, you know, a CD or something, you can, uh, let's see if we, we can find that here. But what you'll be able to do is, um, here, you can CD now and then do a search on how they're rated. So, um, so you can see. Could you, could you recommend, like, the best time to order online? Is it, wait? Is it safe? Like, is it the same amount of time to get a package to your house if you order like a month before Christmas or like a week before Christmas? Well, I think it's sort of like when you're shopping online or offline. It sort of depends on what inventory they have and um, you know the mail and and things like that. I think. Um, it's probably safer to do a month in advance, but that's just in general. It's like any time you're shopping, it's better to do it ahead of time. Now, not all our viewers have credit cards. Mm -hmm. So now what do you suggest for people who don't have credit cards? How can they shop online? Well, actually, that's one of the great things about shopping online because, um, you know, for instance, if you don't have your own credit card, there's lots of sites that will... Um, that will help you uh, go ahead and still make a transaction. For instance, there's iCanBuy.com, which is um, a, a site specially for teens. And um, this site, and then there's Flues.com. There's mm -hmm. a bunch of sites that will actually let your parents put their credit card 
online and a certain allowance of money that then you can go and use to either buy things. Um, with iCanBuy.com, you can even um, make investments and, and play investment games and learn about investing cool. or donate mm. some of the money to a charity. So it's like so, online currency. Right, right. So Flues acts the same way. Instead of, uh, with Flues, you submit your credit card once to them. Mm -hmm. And then you buy um, your products with stores that use flus. And so then you're spending, you know, like flus bucks. Um, and flus actually is a word um, derived from like ancient um, Argentinia or something. Someone gave, so. uh, someone sent me a gift of flus and I had uh -huh. no idea what it was. <laughs> That's what and it I'm, is. I went to it and I went through, I think it was Tower Records that I ended up buying, using it. And cool. it took right. so much longer than than just if we use the regular credit card to actually really? get, and uh -huh. even with the, not the shipping part, but just it took them longer to process the. Well, you get a separate flus number, so there oh, might okay. be a few little glitches in there with different things like that. But you know, they're all all of these sites are working very hard to try and get better and get a little more streamlined because they definitely want your business. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's one other site called Beans, and um, let me go there since this one's taking a while to to download. A lot um, of people are also worried about. Uh, Online security, like privacy, are, are these are these companies allowed to sell your personal information, like what you buy and stuff? Are they allowed to give that out? Well, that's one of the things about when you're shopping online is that you can always go and check, um, you know, what is the company's policies. Mm. Um, so, for instance, let's see if you go, um, uh, you know, go back to Flues or one of these sites. You know, they'll have, they'll list what their policies are, and you'll see, are they going to sell my information? Are they going to give it to their advertisers? And then you can choose an opt-in or opt-out on whether you want to buy with them. Right. So, so they definitely, you know, they do, but it's the same as if you're buying something right. through a catalog, you know, L.L. Bean or right. something like that. You know, they have your information, and it's sort of, you know, you have to be an educated consumer right, these yeah. days for anything. So what are, quickly before we go, what are some of your favorite sites, and tell us about your own site. Okay, um, some of the sites I like is violet.com. They have um, really nice sort of candles and aromatherapy things. Uh -huh. um, I actually really like buying my um, travel tickets through Expedia um, okay. and doing like right. airplane tickets, and that's pretty convenient. It's pretty cheap. Uh, yeah, okay. and then there's a few sites like outpost.com, which are good for um, com computers and things like that. Okay. Um, my site is all about sort of the cyber scene and the internet industry from a sort of social perspective. Right. And I'm actually starting to get some e-commerce in there too. Oh, cool. is, is there a uh, site that you could recommend for like maybe someone who's not so computer uh, smart and uh, the easiest and fastest way to get your product or gift or whatever? Yeah, you know, I would start with the iCanBuy.com and BizRate.com. Between those two, and then um, in doing a few searches, you'll be able to get a good sense of what's out there, and you'll start getting a little more educated on sites that you feel that you can trust and places that you can make your initial transaction with. Great. Well, thank you so much, Courtney, for joining us. You're Looks welcome. like we all better start our online shopping and uh, get, a, get a head on our holiday shopping. Right now, I have to go over to the uh, television monitor for the next round of the Instant Replay Giveaway.